Hello, good morning. Welcome to Cafe Helen. Uh, today I'm making a apple candy, which is apple popsicle. And I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'm using the green one because the green one is a. It can stay longer rather than ordinary one. So the green is the best things to make for the apple uh, lollipop candy because also it's uh, it's uh, the green one is a little bit sour and the sweet so the texture is the best so I free wash and very very air dry and make sure there is no wax because the wax it's uh, uh, the reflection of the sugar doesn't stick together so which is very very uh, clean and air dry and I see I remove from here because you cannot uh, do the apple with this one which is I remove some here you can see my garbage and I have also the candy that I can mix sprinkle into the apple and I'm using the red color so which is no problem even the red color doesn't reflect too much because it's a green because I'm using this candy right and I have a, a tray with parchment paper which is after I dip it into the sugar and it doesn't stick so this is all prepared and I will show it to you what is in my stove and in my stove I have three cups of white sugar and one half cup of corn syrup i don't have a white corn syrup but it doesn't matter because i put the uh, red color and then i have one cup of sugar i mean water sorry and i, I bring it to the medium high heat okay so in this case um i just want to make sure oops uh, uh in this case I'm gonna bring this to my thermometer here. I'm gonna bring it to 250 to 300, which is be careful because it's hot, right? So right now, as you can see, I have only focus. I have only uh, 100. Uh, uh, I have 250, 225 right now. So which is I bring it to 250 to 300 so it's almost there okay so i'll see i'll show to you until it's done and i put the food coloring and then i will show to you how to dip it this one have different ways to find out your temperature which is the manual but today i will show to you i have the thermometer which is between as i said you can bring this to 250 to 300 but right now I have 273 so which is I stop and there is another way to do this okay so I have a water here I did this for 250 I have this 250 okay so I want to show you the different one how to find out also which is you have a good texture uh, here you can do that and it's flute so it means it's read it's ready because when I do the 250 before here I cannot even remove it but this one here it's let see this is perfect okay so I want to show you okay so this is hot oh okay I want to remove this because I don't want to break it and there we go and here I'm gonna add this uh, food coloring with red color I would like to have a good red color and which is you can see here isn't it that color nice okay. Okay. I'm gonna bring that Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put that there. It doesn't really matter. Okay, okay. now what I am going to do is to dip this. Uh, it 
see how nice is it you let it drip i covered all the way on the top so there is no air bubble into the apple candy so i just do like this and i will bring it there well it's still hot i don't need to be in hurry for that because i don't want to this one is the most important okay there we go see how nice is that i i don't want to have an empty apple has to be everything is covered even under because that's how you can sell your apple can last long so oh here oh my god <laughs> it's my bed so this is what i gonna do now right now is well i'm waiting for that to be i will cover right away okay and or there's another way to do you put candy around there because i just want the important thing is the bottom because i want to do a bouquet so make sure you cover the candy apple and put this on top so after it's cold you're gonna see that there is a nice uh, so the three uh, I mean the three cups of uh, sugar syrup it's uh, run into uh, I think you the reason I I make a lot of syrup because the apple is big and I don't want to have like a uh, not covered all over so that's the reason why I have three cups of sugar in here and just this one uh, I'll put the just you know and then I still have a lot so I can still cover here like two apple but in this case I just leave it like that isn't that nice right and then the, this is the first one and you can see oh my god it's sorry 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 no 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 Aww. because when i remove it <laughs> it's bang it's other and this one too no i don't want that i don't want that at all okay this is the texture of the syrup that I make. The candy syrup is very good because it's not even a minute and it's come out very well. See how you can see. But as I said, I will show you the difference here. Because when I mix the color, okay. Uh, when I mix the color, I did not wait until the bubble are gone so the reason i do that because i want to show you that to you the different right so here this is a lot of air bubble and here uh, okay here i'm afraid to do that and then when i waited a little bit as you can see here but uh doesn't matter you see here very very clear right so there we go i have this a beautiful candy apple as you can see perfect make perfect perfect the reason i do this uh you see the it's a really good texture of the candy syrup because you can see right away that i have this and here come out and here it come out really well right okay okay so this is it and then so 
So this is how I show you to make the apple candy popsicle. So uh, stick again, and I don't want. Okay, happy popsicle. So this is very easy. It's just make the two different way I show you the the right texture of the syrup, right? So I'll stop into you can bring the syrup to 250 to 300 but I stopped to uh, 272 and two way you can do you can bring a water just spread over it's come out easily it means the syrup is ready as you can see the best 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 thank you for watching this is cafe Helen please don't shy to like if you like what I do. Thank you. This is uh, a natural way in my kitchen.